Hi, I'm Shaila Hassan, Head of Group for South Asia for the CBI. I'm based in Delhi in India. We have around 200 members in the market and we support them in the policy and regulatory space through a combination of information and intelligence sharing and networking. We are currently working on a market access thought leadership piece called Sterling Access in partnership with the EY, which is releasing shortly. Some of the key opportunities in the Indian market for UK companies pertain to education. Indian government recently launched its new national education policy, which focuses on internationalization of education, urging uh, uh, universities, foreign universities of repute to set up campuses in India for the first time. High quality Indian universities can also set up campuses abroad. Hence, great opportunities for British higher education institutions to not only trade and invest in India, but also potential for inward investment into the UK. The second key opportunity lies in the services sector, IT, digital, fintech, healthcare, are some of the obvious areas, but those also around manufacturing networks like logistics and supply chain management. The Indian Prime Minister recently refreshed his call for make in India for the world. So there is clear potential for UK manufacturing and services to come and explore new opportunities. The third is the low carbon space. India is having its own agenda on low carbon, having started the International Solar Alliance. And it is believed that the UK is well placed to export low carbon goods and services to the tune of over two billion pounds by 2022. Clean energy, clean tech, Electric vehicles are some of the areas to work together in the future. Key challenges in India. The first is contract enforcement, which needs some real work on the ground. There is need to create commercial courts in India for easier and faster disposal of commercial disputes. The second is about getting India to accept international standards and certifications and harmonizing its own systems internationally. The third is for simplification of the Indian Metrology Act for easier compliance. If you have further questions, very happy to support. Call us, email us, talk to us. Thank you.